Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. In this video, I want to show everyone on how to make use of the SAS Planet to download a very high resolution georeferenced satellite imagery directly. So this is the interface of the SAS Planet. This is the SAS GIS and um, it is very easy and user friendly we have the operations tab where you can create short code and do some other things we have the view tab we have the source so if this is your first time making use of this software make sure you check on internet and click so that you can have access to some mapping features so we have the maps tab and you can see these are the different things under the maps tab this is where you can change uh, the mapping environment so you are going to see different form of map under the s3 you see the satellite imagery you see landsat and you can scroll down under google you are going to see satellite google map as well google earth functions as well and even navigation charts which is under the marine maps so you can check on any of these and you can have access to some exclusive features. Also, you can get your OSM Open Street Maps, all right? So you can get Open Topo Maps and the rest of it. So in this video, let's just go ahead to why we are here. So to download satellite image of high resolution to referenced image. So this is actually similar uh, to Google Earth Pro, but much more advanced so and it has advantage over google earth pro here you can download your reference satellite imagery but on google earth pro you can't download a georeferenced image all right so you need to download the image and georeferenced if you are using google earth pro however with the SES planet you do not need to georeference it is already georeferenced so I'm just going to download for a particular region in Lagos. There are different ways to navigate to your study area. In case you don't know the exact location of your uh, study area, you can use the method of the coordinates to navigate to the uh, location. So let me quickly show you what I mean. So these are coordinates of some set of points I have, and it is for the location of where I want to work on. Okay, so you can just copy the distance of it minimize then you come to the uh, go to icon here you click on that you are going to see place map you see search this search you can use the address however i don't like making use of this method because some of the maps is not yet updated so the best method is the coordinate method so when you click on coordinate method you click on this drop arrow if your coordinate is on latitude and longitude, you check the first option. You are going to see it lat and long. However, my coordinate is the UTM projected coordinate, which is X and Y distance, not this. So here you are going to paste the distance of your uh, location, and you can go ahead and copy the notice of one of the location. Then you paste here. Then here you define the zone, okay? So the zone I am working with is zone 31. If yours is zone 32, you edit to zone 32 in uppercase letter. And that is all it. So when you are done with this, make sure your system is connected to an active internet. Then you click on go to. You are going to see the arrow already linking you to the particular exact location of your study area so you can see if i zoom in you are going to see the location and here it is okay very easy to use so you can see the name of the streets and every of the other features however this is osm open street map what i want to show you guys is how to download satellite image so you will come under maps click on that and you scroll to google okay you can choose to use the arcgis imagery all right when you click on that it's going to load up and you can see it here all right however i'll be making use of the google satellite image so i'll just go down to google then navigate to satellite google maps 
so i will be making use of this all right so any which one is okay so this is the region i want to download for then the next thing is to define the extent of what you want to cover what you want to download right so to do that you come to this icon here the shift snap come to the drop arrow click on that then you navigate so these are the different ways you can define the extent of your study area so the fastest way is to use the rectangular selection just click on that so let me show you a beautiful trick here so you can increase the resolution of your image by coming to this icon here it's cached size map you click on the drop arrow here then you can see we are from z1 to z24 so these are the resolutions of different uh, functions so if you check on z21 you will see the tiles okay you see the tiles very small so if i check on z19 you will see it the tiles is now very large all right so the smaller the grid the higher the resolution and the, the larger the file is going to be so if i check on z for example z23 you see it very very small that is very high resolution however i'll be leaving it as z21 which is okay by me so you can increase the resolution this way do we get that then the next thing is to define the extent to define the extent you come back to the drop arrow here then you click on rectangular selection so when you click on rectangular selection you can just define the area you can see you draw it to cover then it is going to bring in this download option out for you then you can just see here so you can see this is the area i want to download this is the area i want to cover and this is the download option so the settings you have to do here is under your download tiles here under the zoom make sure it is the same thing as the resolution you have checked in earlier all right z21 so you are going to check the 21 box here to download a pixel that is very high so you can see the pixel value so you can choose to download other high resolution if you wish to okay then after that you come to stitch under your stitch the output format here you click on the drop arrow then you scroll down to duty then you click on that so that shows that the output image that i'll be downloading or you'll be downloading is a georeferenced image so you check on duty then under your save to you click on this icon here then you navigate to the folder where you want to save the file so i'm just going to call this geo image then you click on save you can see the extension automatically popping up dot tif all right then you can scroll down to projection here you click on the drop arrow then you make it geographic google x click on that last option after that you come to the zoom and make it the same resolution of what we have earlier which is 21 and that is all so when you are done with all this you just click on start then it will start downloading very easy and that is all so you can just come to operations then you quit this so let's quickly go to any of the gis software so i'll be making use of the arcmap at gis then on your arcgis environment you come to your layer you make sure you set the coordinate reference system of your layer by coming to layer here right click come to properties and you scroll to coordinate system if yours is on general come to coordinate system then you set it as the same coordinate system that your georeferenced image that you downloaded from the sas planet is on so it's under the projected for me, it's under the UTM, under the WGS84, under the Northern Hemisphere. Then I'm going to scroll down to zone 31, then apply and OK. That's the first thing. So you need to set the coordinate system, all right, in your app, app environment. Then you come to your add data icon. You go to the folder where you have your georeferenced image. So I have it here. You can see it, geo image. Dot tif then you click on add then you click on yes so guys you can see it's very sharp and okay it is very good very clear and very 
okay so let's quickly do some accuracy check remember i used some set of coordinates here i use one of the coordinates here to uh navigate to that location so i'm just going to import all these coordinates to see if it will overlay on the right uh, coordinate on this imagery so let's get started so make sure you come to file then you save as dot csv all right comma delimited this is the format readable in rgis right so i'm just going to call this two then save when you are done saving as command limited you close your excel worksheet then you come back to your app map come to add data add your csv coordinates it's not going to appear yet you come to the layer on it right click on it display xy data let your x feed tally with the distance y feed tally with the nothings and that's all then you click on ok then you click on ok so automatically you can see the coordinates here so let me make it a little bit something big and visible so guys this is it at the right locations at the respective location let me reduce it so these are the coordinates and it is overlaid at the exact coordinates so this is the beauty of using uh, the SAS planet to download high resolution satellite images without any stress so guys in the next video I'll be showing you on how to download OpenStreetMap which is the OSM in subsequent times so I'm going to show you how to do your setup and download freely okay so it's very user friendly easy to use without any stress if you find this video helpful and informative please do it to hit on the subscribe icon as well as turn on the notification on this channel to keep getting valuable tutorial freely see you in the next video